بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی کم ٹو دا لاسٹ چیپٹر اینڈ دا لاسٹ ویڈیو دس از چیپٹر 19 ویڈیو نمبر 4 which is on conservation and this is 5090 o level biology igcse and this is for the new syllabus which is going to be examined in syllabus uh, in the year 2023 بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم in the name of allah most gracious most merciful praise be due to allah lord of the worlds the entirely merciful especially merciful sovereign of the day of recompense it is you alone we worship and you alone we ask for help guide us to the straight path the path of those upon whom you have bestowed, bestowed favor not of those who have evolved who have evoked your anger or of those who are astray for 19.5 uh, we discuss reasons for conservation of species with reference to maintenance of biodiversity uh, reducing extinction and protecting vulnerable environments explain how forest can be conserved using education protected areas quotas and re- uh, replanting explain how fish stocks can be conserved during education closed season protected areas controlled net types and mesh size quotas and monitoring and describe a sustainable resource as one which is produced as rapidly as it is removed from the environment so it does not run out now uh, let's talk about why do we need to conserve reasons why organisms are under threat the so first of all i mean just understanding this is important why are they under threat is because of habitat destruction while clearing forests for farms houses and mines then we are hunting pollution and of course we have introduced species for so they are going to be competing and then predation now why do we are so worried about that certain certain animals are getting extinct why there's number one aesthetic value of biodiversity we all love nature ethics is it right to destroy biodiversity then custodial we should preserve biodiversity for future generations we have uh, we owe it to the next generations then utility biodiversity may provide useful products like medicines a lot of uh, plants are used to have a, have a lot of very very important medicinal value digitalis a drug which is used for heart failure is actually you we obtained it from a plant ecosystem stability biodiversity contributes to ecosystem services means that all food chains are interlinked so if the oak trees are finished then the birds which nest in the oak trees will also finish then re- recreation and ecotourism then scientific research education better ability to cope with environmental changes when there is greater genetic diversity so the reason to conserve is very very important and the fact that we as the human impact are destroying habitats and so we are reducing we are actually uh, helping many many animals to become extinct because of uh, habitat destruction another slide uh, showing you reasons for conservation same things but we are repeating in a slightly different wordings ethical respect for living things other species should be allowed to coexist economic living organisms have a huge gene pool and may have the capacity to make millions of substances then cultural and aesthetics habitats enrich our lives and inspire writers and poets who entertain and fulfill us the loss of biodiversity if you know the causes then you can understand how we can handle this problem the main cause of the loss of biodiversity can be attributed to the influence of human beings on the world's ecosystem escalating human population is a major cause of biodiversity loss most of the biodiversity loss has happened post industrial revolution through human activities so actually we as human beings are responsible for all these animals which are slowly becoming endangered and then extinct now we need to think about how can we uh, the b topic is reducing extinction and the c is protecting vulnerable environments now i want you to look through these uh, few pictures which i have uh, saved now this is the world's largest national parks what are these places these are special protected places where people cannot hunt and people cannot construct there can be no buildings and there can be no road construction because these trees and animals are maybe endangered or threatened or they might be undergoing extinction so we need to protect these animals so these are the places which are called national parks or natural reserves where we going to see that you know their uh, habitats are not disturbed in any way there are no roads built there are no construction 
and uh, there's no industry set up so that these animals can survive. Now, what are the solutions of protecting wild species from depletion and extinction? Three approaches to managing wildlife and protecting biodiversity. Number one, ecosystem approach. Aims to preserve balanced population of species in their native habitats. Establish legally protected wilderness areas and wildlife reserves and eliminate or reduce the populations of non-native species. Non-native species, we've discussed this in an earlier uh, chapter. In this chapter, earlier video, non-native species, those which have been introduced either by mistake or they have been introduced purposely and now they become a menace and now they're taking over the, they're destroying the native species. Now, if we know the ways that species become endangered, then we can also prevent that. So number one is habitat loss. So just try to stop that, stop uh, deforestation. So stop construction of buildings everywhere and anywhere. So number one, habitat loss. Number two, unregulated or illegal killing or collection. Then pesticides and pollution, then competition with other species, then disease, then predation. So if we know the causes of them becoming endangered, because if they are endangered, then slowly they will become extinct. So we need to figure this out, how to solve this problem. Now, as you look at the definitions, it's nice to know these meanings because otherwise you don't understand the extent of it. Endangered means a species of plant or animal that is in immediate danger of becoming extinct and needs protection to survive. Threatened a species is likely to become endangered if it is not protected. So one is endangered and one is threatened. Threatened is the earlier one that it might become endangered if it is not protected. What can you do to protect species? Now, these are just some of the factors which we just talk very generalities and you're going to get a very general question on this. So you just have to have a lot of background knowledge on this. Do not buy furs, ivory products or other items made from endangered or threatened animal species. Do not buy wood or paper products produced by cutting old growth forests in the tropics. Do not buy birds, snakes, turtles, tropical fish, or other animals that are taken from the wild. Do not buy orchids, cacti, or other plants that are taken from the wild. Spread the word, talk to your friends and relatives about this problem and what they can do about it. Now, how forests can be conserved? How, you know, we've talked about the effects of deforestation. So how can they be conserved? Let's say education. Education of the people that, you know, we should not cut down forests. We should use less and less of uh, the wood to make paper. So less paper use, less trees cut down. So education of the people and telling them that, you know, even if you cut down trees, then you need to plant new trees. Then protected areas where there are some very old trees and where there are forests of great consequence and are of great uh, medicinal value, there are plants there. So those areas should be protected and there should be no buildings constructed and there should be no uh, cutting down of trees or plants should be done in those areas. Then a quota should be fixed that, okay, these are forests, so you can cut down so many trees because then you will plant and then by 10 years or 5 years, so many trees will again uh, be there. But the tree takes many years to really grow to such a height that you can cut it down for either uh, firewood or for furniture or something like that. So quota means that you will restrict the number of trees that can be cut down in a certain year or in a year's time or six months or two years time. Then of course comes the most important thing is replanting. That you've cut down the trees. Okay, so then you need to replant some more trees. So every year that you cut down, you plant more. So the next year, those will have grown up. And then in three or four years time, then these plants, then there will not be any dearth of any trees. So replanting them, is also a major factor in helping in the conservation of forests. Now coming to the topic is how fish stocks can be conserved. Because what we're doing is we are overfishing and that is depleting. So in overfishing, what we do is we are taking out too many fish and we are taking out even the smaller fish. So the smaller fish which would grow and next year breed and have, we'll have more fish. Well, we're also removing those and those cannot be sold. So you just throw them away, they're dead fish. So how can we now uh, conserve fish stocks? Number one, education, education of the, of the fish farmers who actually should not deplete the, uh, the younger, the, the, the smaller fish. Then closed seasons, the government enforces legally that from this time 
of the year till this time of the year there will be no fishing and no fishing and they should be legal they should be persecuted they should be prison they should be fined so that they do not take out their fish boats and they start so they are close seasons during which fishing is not because that's the time when they are breeding and we don't want to be actually uh, catching these fish when they are in the breeding season then protected area some areas there should no fishing will be allowed and so that the fish populations can recover from whatever either a disease or some chemical which has been discharged which has killed a large number of fish then we control the type of nets they use and the size of the mesh you see the size of the mesh means how big the so the small fish can come out but only the big ones will be caught in it and this so the mesh size means the hole through which the fish can be caught so the mesh size is fixed that the mesh size would be this so that the smaller fish pass through it and they are not caught by the fish uh, by the people who are fishing and uh, the larger fish are caught which of course can be sold in the market but not the smaller ones which were going to grow and then breed next year then quotas and monitoring that means you ascertain you fix quotas for uh, different countries and you say okay well they can fish for this uh, how much of this can they fish and how we can to monitor it so that is a little difficult because uh, every government has their own rules so the quotas and the monitoring system has to be very legally followed so that then they can help in uh, conserving the fish stocks now we come to the next topic which is sustainable resource now what is a sustainable resource is produced as rapidly as it is removed so that it does not run out produced as rapidly as it is removed so it does not run out now definition when something is replaced near the rate or level at which it is consumed example wood is a sustainable resource as long as we replant enough trees as we cut them down and use them another factor which we have to keep in mind is sustainable use of resources meaning using natural resources in a way that doesn't deplete them plant a tree for everyone cut down use biofuels alternative energies do not keep on using the fossil fuel which is all going to run out very soon then sustainable resources another way of uh, defining them is the rate of use of a resource is such that the amount taken out will not affect the resource's ability to renew itself and the same rate of productivity can be maintained into the future for example quotas of fish or trees harvested in a season what is meant by sustainable development the goal of sustainable development is to enable all people throughout the world to satisfy their basic needs and enjoy a better quality of life without compromising the quality of life of future generations and i love this quote we do not inherit this earth from our parents we borrow it from our children uh, now i want to just share a little more detail about some of the topics which were in this uh, chapter on the conservation first of all let's discuss about overfishing a little more detail now effects of bottom trawling and you can see here unwanted fish or marine life can make up 40 to 90% of the bycatch that is caught and subsequently thrown back because those fish or turtles or those don't sell in the market so you just throw them but they're dead by then when you've thrown them back bottom trawling can destroy coral reefs and disrupt sediment and bottom dwelling marine life creating blooms that can be seen from space then what is a bycatch a bycatch is the total number of sea animals fishermen unintentionally catch in their nets and kill every day we kill about 3 billion fish for food bycatch includes any marine life that is caught unintentionally while fishing for a different species and you can see these mechanized trawlers lead to large bycatch now you can see how we are really destroying uh, the aquatic life just to catch some fish to sell in the market then how to prevent overfishing confining fishing to areas outside the breeding areas then restrictions on fish age and number of fish then federal laws protecting marine mammals sea turtles large predatory fish and many birds prohibited fishing boats from interfering with these animals 
negotiation permit fisheries to make a profit based on market price now who regulates of course we have to have people who regulate all this and do it very very carefully and very legally now other preventive measures against overfishing number 1 eat fish responsibly spawning and nursery areas protection promotion of eco friendly fish farming and fight for the bottom trawling ban that is of course something we need to work on is the bottom trawling ban so that we don't get a lot of bycatch and we don't get a lot of other animals being caught in the nets and then of course they're just thrown back into the water and by that time they are dead now we just did something we said sustainable resources now what is sustainable fishing sustainable fishing is fishing at a rate which does not put the fish in danger this means that the fish are given time to reproduce and grow before they are caught this is to prevent overfishing and the chance of endangering species or just putting their population count down some of the ways that sustainable fishing is ensured is by putting a limit to how many fish each person is allowed to catch creating fisheries to help raise enough fish to meet the fishing needs of the population by setting up fish barriers to help prevent fish going in certain parts of rivers to prevent them from being caught also bringing endangered fish through the process of sustainable development so they can eventually be caught again so very very uh, difficult goals for us but i'm sure Uh, we can all work on it unless uh, we we put our mind and soul to it we can definitely achieve our goals that's what everything in life if you put your mind and soul to achieving a goal you will always achieve it of course with the help of allah you will always be achieve it, achieve it but your intentions have to be clear and this bring us brings us to an end to the syllabus uh, videos on uh, the syllabus for 5090 for 2023 we have uh, i have completed all the videos on these and the entire 19 chapters have been done according to the new syllabus i want to thank you all for all the support and for all the, all the positive comments that you leave for me i will now of course be handling all the specimen papers and the different papers that uh, we can do on the new syllabus especially the new topics which have been added to the syllabus and i thank allah for giving me the health and the mindset and the focus uh, to be able to complete these videos i know they have been at times i've been giving long pauses in between but i've tried my best to finish the video in time so that now you can study very easily for your exams and you have uh, four or five months to your exam next year inshallah so all the best and um, try to study regularly and thank allah for all the blessings that you have thank you very much